so the user will only select this checkbox so now you can see shipping address section is removed from the screen or it is not visible on the screen so hello guys welcome back with another video of salesforce geek channel and in this video we are going to discuss about a topic called conditional visibility in salesforce screen flow so let me just give you a quick overview about this topic conditional visibility so let's say on a particular screen in your salesforce flow you have two components component one and component two now based on the input value whatever the user input into the particular component right the visibility of the another component is dependent that's called conditional visibility now let me just explain you in more simple manner let's say you have two components the first one is a checkbox the second one is a text column and you only want to show the text column when the checkbox is selected as true right so whenever the user selected that checkbox another component that is text component is visible and if it is false then the text component is not visible on the screen so this is the functionality which we are going to discuss in today's video so without any delay let's get started so first of all i am going to create a new screen flow so for that i need to click on this new flow button then select a screen flow over there and click create so the scenario which i'm going to take is to create a screen for account details then we are going to create that account with the respective details of the user and that's where i'm going to teach you the conditional visibility concept in screen flows so first of all let's select screen and also i want to show you one thing when you click on this plus button in the i button you will see the information like why the screen is used in salesforce flow so to collect information from or display information to a user who runs the flow right so it is available for all the elements we have or logic elements we have right so for everything like data logic and interaction for all the type of elements that we have in our salesforce flows so this is a spring 23 update soon i'm going to create a video on all the spring 23 updates are regarding salesforce flow so stay tuned for that i'm just going to click on screen and here type account details now i can simply drag and drop a screen component that is text and that would be account name so let's say label is account and api name will be automatically populated let's make it require because account name is a mandatory field right now what i'm going to do i'm going to add address components to our screen this is like billing address i need to remove the space otherwise it will show me error i'm going to add one more address component for shipping address now i need to change the label so let's click on the first components and type here let's say billing address and similarly for the shipping address now here comes the scenario what i want let's say if i fill the details of the billing address and the shipping address is also same so i don't want to uh, show my second uh, component which is shipping address to the user right is it clear or let me just explain once more let's say user fill up, filled the billing address all the details and shipping address is also going to be the same so in that case i don't want to display the shipping address component so for that what i'm going to do i am going to add one checkbox called shipping address same as billing address right and i am also going to add question mark so if the checkbox is correct then i need to hide this shipping address component so for that what i need to do the component which i need to remove or which i need to show i will click on it and move into the set component visibility accordion and here i need to select one condition let's say and because it's a single condition so it doesn't matter which condition you are going to select 
and here I am going to type shipping address and that is of checkbox type. I am going to type, select checkbox equals false. That means shipping address is only going to be displayed when the checkbox is not ticked, right? So I need to again add the condition. So let's say shipping checkbox equals false and click done. Now let me just click on done once again. So as you know that our screen is completely uh, fine right now. Let me just save my flow. So let's say component visibility and let's say I'm going to click on save. Now let's click on debug just to show you how conditional visibility works. And let me just click on run. So right now you can see uh, we have account name, we have billing address, we have shipping address as well, right? And there is one checkbox shipping address same as billing address. So let's say the shipping address is going to be same as billing address. So the user will only select this checkbox. So now you can see shipping address section is removed from the screen or it is not visible on the screen. So that's what I mean by when I say conditional visibility. Now let's move back to the flow. And now what I'm going to do, I am going to add one condition here, which is a decision element. Check for same address. And let's say same address for both. And here I am going to only check the checkbox equals false. Oops, true. That means the checkbox is true and both the addresses are same. Now default outcome again the same thing. Uh, that in that case we need to add different addresses to our account right so let's click on done so now you can see our flow is bifurcated into two parts when the checkbox is ticked that means we have same address when the checkbox is not ticked that means we have different addresses so here I am going to add one create record element Or instead of create record element, what I can do? I can create a record variable. Let's say if I go to new resource and here I'm going to play create a variable and select account record and in the data type select record. Then you need to select the object that means account because we are going to create an account record, right? And click on done. And then I'm going to use assignment element. And let's say fill account details when address is same. Or you can say account details when address is same. And in the variable, I'm going to just map the fields. For example, let's say record dot name equals coming from the component we have account name. And similarly, the address account record dot billing city account record dot billing country account record dot billing postal code. And similarly, street and state let's say state and similarly street so now I need to map with the component that I have which is billing address dot city billing address dot country billing address dot postal code billing address dot state billing address dot street 
so similarly as you know that this assignment is for same address so I need to add the same for shipping address as well so let's say account record city this time I need to select shipping city account record dot country that means shipping country this time postal code that is shipping postal code similarly for a street shipping street and then for state that is shipping state so similarly I can map the map directly from the billing address because both the addresses are same in this case country and then postal code street then our state so similarly click on done and now I am just going to copy this element and paste it here now again as it is a copied element what I am going to do change the API name and label and let's say is different and some changes which we need to make is instead of billing we need to get the value from shipping so shipping address dot city value again shipping address dot country shipping address dot postal code shipping address dot street and then shipping address dot state but the main motive of this video is to show you the concept of conditional visibility or you can say component visibility right so for now let's click on done and okay I need to change the label as well and click done again now I am going to create record that's of account or let's say create account and sing single account and then I'm going to select a record which we created as account record right and I'm going to click on done so I'm just going to click on save and now I'm going to click on debug so let's say I'm going to click on run and I'm going to provide my let's say Amul test one in the street I'm going to provide let's say Tarni street city Meerut state let's say Uttar Pradesh country India zip postal code let's say some random and this time I am going to select this checkbox that means both the addresses are same and going to hit next so as you can see okay so this flows uh, this according to this flow it says like there is a required field missing called email right so maybe I do some configuration back uh, in past and I for completely forget that I have a mandatory field called email so you can just learn from your errors like what the error is basically saying so as per the error you are seeing right required field missing so that means email is a custom field and that field is required so what I'm going to do here I'm move to object manager and remove it from a mandatory field so I will go to account and go to that field called email select that field and I'm going to click on edit and remove this required checkbox and hit save I am doing this just for so that my flow will work smoothly right so I will move again and click on run again and fill out the details let's say Amul test 1 billing address let's say Tarni street city Meerut zip postal code some random value country India state let's say UP I'm going to select this checkbox that means both the addresses are same and hit next so this time you can see the flow interview finished and in the right hand side you can also check the details so let's see in our org whether this account is created or not so here you can see Amul test one is created I'm just going to open it and hit on details so in the addresses you can see both the address are same right so this is the first testing we have done now let's test the other uh, 
scenario that means when the addresses are different right so let's click on debug again and hit run so let's say amul test 2 let's say tarni street city merit some random value of zip code let's say state up india shipping address let's say i'm going to provide some another uh, address let's say abc malad chalk city mumbai let's say some random zip code country india and state is maharashtra let's hit next so again you can see the flow interview finished and you can also see the details as well now let's move to account and check whether the account so here you can see a mold test 2 is also created let's move to details so here you can see both the addresses are different in this case right so that's how uh, the conditional visibility actually works so this video is based on the conditional visibility concept so for now uh, that's it for this video thank you so much if you're watching this video till now please subscribe the channel and hit the like button so so that i can keep creating those videos thank you so much